Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and welcome to tutorial number 9. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add audio to your website using the new HTML5 audio tag. Now, like I said, this audio tag is new to HTML5. So, because it is a new tag, there are some browsers that might not support this tag or um, if someone's using a browser that hasn't been updated in a while so let's say they are using Google Chrome or Firefox but it just hasn't been updated in a long time uh, then this tag might not work for them either okay so to add an audio tag to your web page you're just gonna go ahead and uh, type in audio like that uh, in a tag but it is a double tag so we're gonna close it off as well okay and because this is actually not enough information we're still gonna have to tell the browser somehow what file to include okay so we've got another tag that we can put inside here which is the source and this is actually where we will uh, be placing our source attribute as well. Now the reason for this is uh, some browsers might not support uh, one file type so they might not support uh, mp3 then you have to put in multiple source tags so you'll put in a source for uh, Google Chrome which supports mp3 and then you'll put in another source tag uh, for Firefox that in, that supports OGG or something like that okay uh, but actually most browsers all support mp3 so if you're using Firefox or you're using Google Chrome uh, we should get away with just using uh, an mp3 file okay uh, but before we get into the attributes I also want to just uh, tell you guys that if the user is using an old browser okay this audio tag isn't gonna work for them it's not really gonna uh, show up so what we can do is include a message in between uh, this audio tag just to say to the user that they need to update their browser uh, it won't show up if the audio tag does work uh, so if they're using a browser that is already up to date then the message won't show up but if they're using an out-of-date browser then the message will show up okay so we can just say if you can see this update your browser okay so hopefully they don't see this message but if they do they need to update their browser okay and now we can talk about the attributes uh, so there's actually a few attributes that we're gonna need to include over here and the first one obviously is the source attribute and we can set this equal to the file that we want to include on our page okay so I've got uh, this audio file here it's an mp3 file which I downloaded from YouTube's audio library and um, it's basically just some free music that uh, YouTube offers there so I'm going to go ahead and say garage.mp3 okay and uh, that should work for us for now but there's also another attribute that we need to include and that is the type okay and the type is basically just telling the browser what audio file they should be expecting okay or it should be expecting should I say okay so because this is an mp3 then we know that the browser should be expecting a, an audio slash mpeg file okay so like I said the reason why this is set up like this in a different tag is because uh, well it's a single tag so we can close that off uh, is because let's say uh, if you wanted to test this in a few browsers and you found out that maybe uh, Opera or something does not support an mp3 then you can go ahead and uh, put in another tag here with a file like um, OGG which it does support okay 
and then you just have to make sure whoops <laughs> you just have to make sure that you have not only an mp3 here but an ogg file as well um, but that might be a little bit complicated for uh, some of you guys so let me just uh, get back to notepad plus plus here uh, and we can just take that line out. Uh, we really don't need it right now because we've only got an mp3 Okay, but there is one File or one other attribute that we're gonna have to include here and that is going to be in these audio uh, tags We're going to specify that we want some controls. Okay uh, so the controls are going to show up in the browser and they might look different on every browser uh, so unless you want to make your own controls with JavaScript, then you need to actually specify these controls so that the user will be able to push, uh, play, pause, and rewind, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this now. And um, if I go back to Firefox and click refresh, you can see I now have uh, this little audio thing here, which I can push play. And if it if I push play, it's going to play the music. Um, so do that okay so that's cool um, but then there's two other attributes which I can talk to you guys about as well and that would be uh, the auto play uh, so auto play and loop loop okay sorry <laughs> typos um, so auto play basically tells the browser when this uh, when the web page is finished loading just play the music okay just don't even wait for the user to click play or anything just play it and loop is basically when you get to the end of the track just start it over again so let's go back now and uh, well, save that first and uh, click refresh here and as soon as I click refresh the music is gonna start playing and uh, well, I'll make it loop. I'll click on the end and I'll make it loop again. Okay, so let's click refresh and As you can see the music starts playing uh, So if I go ahead and I fast forward this right to the end Okay, as soon as it ends It's gonna jump right back to the beginning and start playing Okay, so that's what loop does uh, that a uh, loop just makes it restart again and autoplay basically makes it that as soon as the web page loads, the song plays. Okay. Now, let me show you what happens if we didn't include the controls tag or controls attribute. Okay. Then that would mean that uh, we have no way of telling the music to play or stop or pause or anything. Uh, so, right now, we've still got the autoplay here. And the loop okay so now uh, when I click refresh we're not gonna have this thing but the music's gonna play as soon as I click refresh okay and I can't stop it <laughs> so uh, yeah I kind of just need to delete it <laughs> or exit close it okay and that's actually all I have for you guys in this video so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.